the round table. Gentlemen, Aye. let's broaden our minds. Lay on, gentlemen, and let them know what's what. Fire at will. It's time for action, gentlemen. Gentlemen of the round table. What's the topic of discussion? Civility, gentlemen. Always civility. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Bro. Oh, dear Beelzebub, thank you so much for your boobs. Please squirt us with all of the liquids that come out of them and make us very funny and gross today. And let's say, help us say bad things. In your breast, we play, pray. <laughs> we play. Um, God. In your breast, we play, pray. Uh, I can't get, I can't nail this. In your breast, we play. Jesus. <laughs> I couldn't say it before. Ah, yeah. oh, man. Welcome oh. to the round table of gentlemen, everybody. Molly Neffel. There she is. Ed Larson. Holy shit, it's Holden McNeely. Oh, not holy shit. No one cares. He's Kevin. <laughs> I'm Kevin Definitely Barnett. Shit. Oh, boy. Kevin Barnett. I am Benjamin Kissel. In the Chuckle Hut, we've got God's terrible experiment. Uh, <laughs> I love him, and you're going to love him, too. The Lucas Brothers. Thanks for being here, guys. Yeah, uh, thanks cool. for having us, man. It's cool. All right, so... Yeah. All right, and with us as always, news, man, what do you want, Mark? I, I want to know, know. we got to get to the bottom of this. Who's who? What's going on here? Oh, okay. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. for the audience at home, they're twins. So. Identical twins. They always dress the same. Got the same haircut, same beard length, no matter what. Okay. The only thing different is the color of the shoelaces. And the and the <laughs> different NBA team. One, one is a Lakers hat, and the other has a Hornets hat. So let's go with fellow in the Hornets hat. What is your first name and uh, birthday? Uh, yeah, my first name is uh, Kenny. My birthday is September 13th. Oh, All right. right. Fellow in the Lakers had first name and birthday. Uh, my name is Keith, and we don't dress alike, motherfucker. <laughs> My birthday is September 13th, too. <laughs> oh, because Kenny and Keith. Thing. We want to know, Marcus. Yeah, I were talking about it before. We I have never no done. fucking clue what you guys' it's first names were. Kenny and Keith? Uh, yeah. Keith and Kenny. Keith and Kenny. Do you, do you guys Kenny, usually yeah. wear the same hats, or do you just switch them to fuck with people? No, nah, we wear the same hats. I mean... Do you guys, Kenny, have, do you guys Kenny, have bunk Hornets. beds? Kenny Hornets. Do you have bunk beds? Yeah. We had, we had them growing up uh, <laughs> <laughs> for like 10 years. Like, way too long for bunk beds. <laughs> <laughs> I was an only child. I also had bunk beds, but it yeah, was but that just... was to fill an entire you, though. You needed two beds. <laughs> he slept on the top, but his, his stomach slept on the bottom bunk. <laughs> Laid over there like some sort of large job of the hut character. My stomach and my right nut. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up your nut, nut Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With us is always newsman Marcus Parks. What do you got for us, buddy? A gruesome Groupon has sparked an uproar in Milwaukee. The Daily Deal website offered a cu- coupon for a tour of the hunting grounds of serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer. So he's bringing a bunch of gay clubs? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Very deal. <laughs> I guess you've done this for free. You figured out the group. Of- that is true. There really is no reason to pay for this. <laughs> you can't just go to uh, Mad Planet, which is where he had sex with many a men. Mad oh, yeah. Planet. Mad, Mad Planet, Planet. It was, it was a dance club. My friend Tim used to go. I, I thought our- gay men happy. Well, no, it wasn't. It wasn't mad, like, oh, I'm angry, man. It's like, oh, we're gonna get mad, you know, with dicks and stuff. And um, <laughs> and it, it, there was a lot of a lot of cock sucking in that bathroom, and that's one of Jeffrey Dahmer's haunts. And uh, that was that was actually where. He left uh, he killed, when he killed the Filipino boy. That was the bar that they were at before that happened. Uh-huh. Yes. I, I see. The I Filipino see. boy who escaped and, who got, escaped and, the, and cops the cops <laughs> took him back to Dahmer's house because yeah. they didn't believe him because he was heavily drugged, but he was like, this guy's trying to kill me. And he was just like, Dahmer was like, oh, thank you for bringing back my adopted child. <laughs> no, was, I think he said boyfriend and my Milwaukee cops are so Tell this whole stupid, story like, real quick. Please. I should be surprised that you guys know so much about serial killers, but every time I'm always shocked and <laughs> Oh, well, it's my it's so long 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 serial killer. It's would, a would you like inappropriate thing to be an expert on? No. Would you like not. to know much about Jeffrey Dahmer's upbringing? I know quite a bit. His mother suffered from cerebral palsy, <laughs> and at school, in order to uh, make the other kids laugh, he used to do uh, impressions of his mother, which he would go. Bah, bah, bah. I feel so like beware I of that. <laughs> yeah, so look out for that, teacher. <laughs> kid who doesn't have cerebral palsy, just no. acting like he does because his my, mother has my, it. My, he's a serial killer. I feel you. My, I have no idea why they're talking about serial killers so in such detail. Like, what the fuck? How you guys well, know about this? I mean, it's a very interesting <laughs> they're, they're thing. They're obviously serial killers. <laughs> <laughs> we read, hey, Kenny. Listen, we read. Man, I read we just too, the, just not about serial killers. <laughs> 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 we just don't have the balls to be serial killers ourselves. Yeah, I've said it hey, on stage man, I ain't a part of this. I don't share y'all's sentiments. I'm just a dude, man. You're a nice 
nice guy. It's uh, all the fucking white dudes in the room are like, kill, kill people. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Even the playing field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like just the definition of crazy white boy. <laughs> That is, Jeffrey Dahmer is it. <laughs> he is definitely the definition. But he's having sex with this Filipino boy. They're dancing in Mad Planet. He takes him back to his apartment, Dahmer's apartment, drills a hole in his head, starts doing a whole bunch of different things to him. The guy escapes, and then the cops find him bleeding in the street. And then Dahmer's like, no, that's my boyfriend. And the cops are like, you know the gays. You know, <laughs> typical gay activity. This is how ignorant Milwaukee cops were and probably still are. So then they just sent him back with Jeffrey. So the cops literally... how. That is such a horrific, the, the truest tale of Texas Chainsaw I can think of. The guy got to the cops. He was in safe arms. And the cops gave him back to the serial killer. Nightmare. That's fucking yeah. terrible. I yeah. never even thought about Get it from this perspective in before. Did he take oh, yeah. him to the hospital? No, no. Gay kids don't go to the hospital. They go with their boyfriends. I don't know what they were Not thinking. Well, everybody knows that gay people heal faster. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the side effects. Wolverine, notoriously homosexual. <laughs> Fucking gay people couldn't get married, always getting made fun of, and also the most likely to be killed by a serial killer. That's Absolutely. So tragic. I think that yeah. that's true. Well, a lot of gay uh, serial yeah. killers out there. Well, serial at least killers back in like the 80s and 90s. It was a lot easier to do it then. Things yeah. are getting better uh, for the gay victims of serial killers. Not so good for prostitutes, though. They're yeah, still they're very still high on the serial killer hit list, which yeah. is yeah. number one. Yep. Yeah, see, they still have to, you know, live in the shadows. Gay people are allowed to have fun now. Yep. I just like the idea that as civil rights in general get better, it also is reflected in, like, the people who are targeted by serial killers. Exactly. Yeah. If yeah, prostitution absolutely. was legal, you know, they would probably all be, you know, filed with the cops and everything. They would have to clock into work, like every 9-to-5 steel worker in Pittsburgh, and everyone would know where they were at all times. Yeah. They couldn't just go away missing for three weeks at a time, you know, uh, living on that beautiful Long Island beach. <laughs> Anyway, maybe, maybe there was just a whole bunch of prostitutes sunbathing. They were out there a couple hours too long. Or perhaps they were trying to bury themselves, like that fella said, who set the world record for uh, time underground. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Janaka Basnayake's world record attempt went tragically and terrifyingly <laughs> wrong Saturday. The Sri Lankan man was attempting to set the record for the longest time spent buried alive, but he was pronounced dead shortly after being <laughs> So doesn't he win? He spent, he's he's going to spend eternity in underground. <laughs> the no, no, no. You guys don't even know the best part. This is the saddest part. This is the best part. It is not clear whether a record for longest time buried alive officially exists. <laughs> <laughs> And the thing is, this was the dude's third time doing it. He did it for two hours one time, and he did it for six hours. And he never registered. Yeah. He never. So he already said it once. So then he said it twice. You got to train, man. You got to train niggas was out there trying to do that. It's oh. <laughs> not good. Was he? Was he the only dude trying to do it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be buried Who alive. Wants to have the scariest thing done to them for a world record, you know? It's like the worst. <laughs> it's, maybe he just hated his wife. I want to set the like, world record for uh, most uh, rapes done upon me. <laughs> 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 he died at 35. <laughs> it's terrible. But he's still the leader. <laughs> yeah, this guy, uh, he was uh, buried 10 feet deep in a trench sealed, sealed with wood and soil around 9.30 a.m. and he was brought to the surface unconscious at 4 p.m. Oh, shit. That's a long time. That's I was really going to say, time. it doesn't take that long. I figured it would be like days that he was doing that. So. Oh, no. A few hours. Yeah. Did he do a little straw? You got to put up a little straw. The sand to suck through with He the... wasn't in a coffin? Uh, That's from an episode of Say by the Bell. I think it worked, though. Uh, I'm fairly certain <laughs> it <I'm fairly certain laughs> It very well might be. <laughs> Definitely when Screech is buried in the sand and Lisa brings him a grape soda to drink. So did Screech bury himself alive? <laughs> Uh, we no, wish. this is this guy's Sri Lankan. Um, is that Lankan. a country? Screech Lankan. Yeah, that's a, a country. Screech is Thai. Screech is Thai. Screech is Thai. What are you talking about? I don't even understand. No. What are you saying? Thailand, <laughs> oh, Sri Lanka. Oh. They're oh. right next. Oh, to them. oh, I see. Edit out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mental note. Edit out. <laughs> you leave our shitty shit in. You leave your shitty shit in. <laughs> yeah, man. I think all the emails like, Marcus, you're so funny, and you never say anything bad. <laughs> That's terrible. That <laughs> sucks. It is awesome being world me. Too world world to notice now you'd be fucking up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Are there a lot of uh, twin world records? I feel like you guys could uh, have a hands up on that. You know, because you know, mostly just single person world records. Any twin world records out there? I, ha I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, what kind of question uh, is that? Why yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It seems like an angle they have. I can't do it. 
<laughs> so then we like read up on like twin records. Just yeah, to see. I you, <laughs> you just do twin, twin research all the time. Yeah. Like, what would you do? <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding me? I look layer. at whales. I I watched a whole bunch of uh, you know what what did we watch? Uh, Cayman fighting alligators. Oh, similar yeah, no, research. No, no, no. Cayman alligators. They were fighting uh, jaguars. Interesting. Jaguars surprisingly win a lot. There you go. Yeah. All right, so no, no, no twin data, huh? I'm sure there's some twin <laughs> records. I, I'm Marcus, do we have any twin I'm, data? I'm, I'm oh, on it. It's like fattest go. twins. I think is the big one. Are you guys the fattest twins? No, no. no, no you no, see no, those no, monsters, no. the little buggies, the two <laughs> fat white guys? Yeah, they yeah. ride motorcycles together, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, do they live in the backyard of Dan Aykroyd's mansion from Nothing But Trouble? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a great uh, reference. Least, what was the name of them again? Bobo and Bobo, Bobo and what? Look that up. Look up everything. Look up everything. Twin. The, the, Real first, quick. the only twin record that I can find is that Nigeria holds the record for most twins born. Oh, I knew that. Yeah. Really? What do you mean you knew that? Where were you on twin records? I'm sitting over here on fucking ice, freezing my cock off. Everyone's looking at me like I'm an asshole for asking twins about twin shit. I'm thinking like world's tallest twins or something. Yeah, I got a. Oh shit! I got a whole fuckload of them. All right. All right. Good. Yeah, nice. Interesting. Finally. Yeah. World's yeah, this, this is what we wanted, man. Yeah, world's <laughs> oldest twins. One hundred. 113. I think you guys can beat that. Uh, the tallest male twins in the world, 7'4". Oh, interesting. Yeah. The shortest twins in the world, 2'10". Yeah, the longest... Kill him! Kill him! No, Eddie, don't kill him. He'll be dead soon enough. They're 2'10", for Christ's sake. The uh, the heaviest twins, 723 pounds. Combined? Or uh, no, 743 was one, and 723 uh, was the shit. other. God damn it. Wow. I always you knew Robbie that. was never going to be as good as, as his older brother. Yeah. That's sad. What's wrong with that one? Why can't he catch his older brother or younger brother with the weight? He's the healthy one. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> uh-huh. He had the pretzels are without the cheese. Interesting. Interesting. The um, you guys should do like longest stand-up set as twins or something. Yeah. There's a lot like of things that you could do. You can do, yeah. you can do anything. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like the guy who buried himself alive. It's never been done before. I'm you quite sure you can get a scholarship of some sort to pursue the stand-up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're the first black twins with glasses to do stand-up. So yeah, yeah. 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 let's call up Guinness. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were just going to stop at first black twins. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but I don't think so. <laughs> who is who is like your favorite twins? You got to have you got to have a favorite twin. Yeah. Oh, so it's man. nothing but twin questions from I'm here a, on out. I'm out. a big fan of uh, when John claude Van Damme, he played twins in the movie. Oh, yeah, Double, he, double Impact. Does that count? Double Impact. Double Impact. Impact. Double impact. Yeah, does that count? Good. He was uh-huh. dope as fuck. He had the ponytail and everything. It was <laughs> I guess it counts. One of them had to fight Bolo, man. Bolo yeah. Yang. What Who's was Bolo, Bolo Yang? Bolo Yang. He's the bad guy from Bloodsport. Oh, and, uh, oh yeah. yeah. He killed the biker. Yeah, yeah, he looks yeah, just yeah. like you, Yeah, Eddie. the biggest Chinaman ever. <laughs> if I was Chinese and muscular and in shape, I'd no, look the like biker, him. No, the biker. The biker. Wow. wow. Not Bolo. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah you look like the biker. <laughs> you don't look like... Oh, that guy. Yeah, I want to talk about Bolo, though. No, I know. I know you want to be Bolo, but you were the biker that got his ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, you the biker Bolo. that got murdered. I was in the hospital, though, so at least I got to, like, rest. There you go. That's a good point. The names of the Nothing But Trouble Twins, Bo. Bobo and Little Devil. Mm. Oh, Little Devil. That's I liked adorable. him the best. Yeah. So Tupac was in that movie. Yeah, he, he was. Yeah. Yeah, the de- yeah, he sang. Shaking yeah. a tail feather. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if that was the right movie. What did they sing? They sang the Humpty. All the world. All around the world, world same song. Yeah. All around the world. Yeah, that's yeah, fun. Right. I haven't understood a word that's come out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Three and a half minutes. Nothing but, Nothing trouble. but trouble. Rent it. It'll be a bad <laughs> night for you. And you're like, <laughs> it's a great movie. Yeah, Chevy, Chevy Chase. That movie like 40 times. It's so yeah. it's great, man. No, I love that fucking movie. Chevy Chase, oh, Demi Chase Moore, great, yeah. Dan Aykroyd, mm-hmm. uh, Tupac, John Candy, Tupac. <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I'm sold. Yeah. That's Martin an incredible. Force. Star-studded. Yeah, it, it is. is nowhere near as good as you think it's gonna it's be. It's not yep. a good movie. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. The bone <laughs> slide when they slide down there. Oh, I'm in bones. I'm in bones. It's so weird, man. Yeah, Who's a really really weird movie? Yeah, wrote really. that bizarreness. <laughs> that Dan Aykroyd nose penis joke is hilarious. Oh, yeah. Dan Aykroyd's yeah. nose is the head of a cock. Yeah, and it's they really it, they stretch it out for the entire movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it gets more and more cock-like in each shot. It's it's really beautiful. Yeah, man. I wonder when you're on set and you just go, man, this movie's shit. You know? Like, I think it's when they're putting the, the fake penis is nose on you. You're like, I don't know. being talked about for the fifth time. Or so they fall into the pile of bones after the horrifying roller coaster ride they take. Yeah, you just like a month in, you're just like, man, fuck. <laughs> Dude, we thought it was like one night we had an idea. We thought it was kind of funny. We were laughing about it. Oh, so sad. And I went to see it in the theater. Oh, word. Bottled on VHS and DVD, and I hate it. <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> I've seen it so many times. times. So have I, man. I fucking uh, so many times. I've struggled through that movie. Well, that was the kind I of movie. It, I watched it over Christmas, like over Christmas, whenever I went and visited my parents. Yeah, yeah. I saw it like two months ago. Well, I would watch it like I remember it was always on. I would always watch the Sunday, Saturday, Sunday yeah, afternoon USA a lot. Yeah. T- uh, movies, you know, because I was lonely. No one wanted to hang out with the H. Oh, I wonder why. Yeah, yeah. Nobody wanted to chill with H. Dog. <laughs> Uh, Maybe it's because so, you were dressing like a vampire and running yeah, in the yeah. streets. And I was like, this is the thing I do. Ah! You know, like a lot of that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'd watch those movies. So many bad movies I've seen like 20 times yeah. because they were just on. Here's you know? the official synopsis of Nothing But Trouble. A businessman finds he and his friends, the prisoners of a sadistic judge and his equally odd family in the backwoods of a bizarre mansion. Backwoods. That's, that's that sounds like a good movie. Yeah. Yeah, does, someone should remake that film. <laughs> I oh, like God. Tupac Dude. in it, though, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and Tupac's they in should it. Remake oh, what if, that's, t- if he returns in Nothing But Trouble 2? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could remake goodness. it shot for shot like that Psycho movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, the tagline, all they wanted was a little getaway. All they got was Nothing But Trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the movie writes itself. That's also the log line. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, we should watch it immediately. we got to end the show right now. we got a date with Destiny. All right, I can also. You guys, <laughs> do you guys want to know trivia? I kind of want to listen to Ben struggle for a little. Bit. Oh, I wouldn't. I could talk. I'm just this trying to movie. Make good Dan Aykroyd's talk. directorial debut. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, yeah. Definitely was. He played two parts. <laughs> Interesting director. Uh, wait, judge wait, and uh, little double. Chick, oh, he was. No, that was John Candy. Played oh, yeah. the chick. Candy Interesting. Right. John Candy played three parts. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, good. Dan Aykroyd and John Candy, and it was still and Chevy that Chase movie. too. Holy Chevy shit! Chase. It's Chevy based Chase. on Dan Aykroyd's personal experiences. In oh. 1978, he was pulled over for speeding in a rural town in the northeastern United States. The police officer took him to the local justice of the peace in the middle of the night for a trial. That is so fucking boring. Man, interesting, Dan Aykroyd. Though. Yeah, very interesting. Thanks for a good podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dan Aykroyd's a fucking lunatic. <laughs> I'm going to let this ball drop like a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm talking about Nothing But Trouble! A bad movie that came out years ago. I think it's the first time we've ever even talked about a yes. movie. Yeah. 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 And we all no, don't like it. I know. It's a bad movie. <laughs> Nothing no But Trouble is clearly our quicksand. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to get out of it. This so conversation is just... World record. It's what... This is the conversation that you guys just had is the conversation that people who aren't in front of microphones have about movies. Yeah. Like, yeah, here's some trivia for it. Here's the IMDb page. <laughs> but we just left it rolling, which is fine. Who what are you saying? You don't like the show, Molly? <laughs> Who was in it again? <laughs> oh my god. All right. Jesus. Move on, Marcus. Do something with a news program or a story. Maybe somebody was killed recently. All right. You guys want to hear about a nursing home fire? Yes. yes. Oh, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Shut up, Molly. Shut up. <laughs> You're derailing the show. Damn, Molly. Why you got to be a girl and shit, man? <laughs> Uh, All right, Ohio fire officials responding to a routine nursing home fire found a most unusual routine nursing home fire. Happen all the time. All the time, man. The Uh, defibrillator was on. Yeah, Yeah. they found a most unusual cause behind the blaze: a secret meth lab in the room of a nursing home resident. Dude, I was about to say meth is a joke too. That's crazy. (laughs) Man, Ohio's great. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, and uh, let's see here. The cops walked in and they said when we first started to get the indications. We all sort of looked at each other and went, are we seeing what we think we're seeing? Who, who, were the old people doing the math? No, it was a 31-year-old dude. He was yeah. not a resident of the home, and police are still trying sense, to right? determine who created the drug lab. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, was he giving it to the seniors? They must have been having a great time. He was in Cleveland. Okay. Can you imagine? I mean, going to nursing homes is so unpleasant. Can right. you imagine a nursing home filled with all those old people all jacked up on meth? And then the incontinence, right, where you just poo-poo oh. yourself? Oh, yeah, that, that is a be... nightmare. I can't yeah. imagine anything scarier than that. Yeah, I guess it's very similar to, uh, what's that, Happy Gilmore, the nursing home that he puts his grandmother in. Remember this one? The yeah, film? I remember that Another movie. No, I heard Happy Gilmore. Remember the film Happy Gilmore? <laughs> <laughs> Who's in that one, Ben? All right. Adam <laughs> Sandler's in it. That was a fun one. That was a fun yeah. But the woman that jumps on the car, she's like, get me out of here! Yeah, yeah, I, what I imagine that. the nursing home was like because of the crystal meth. Man, remember that part oh, yeah. when the golf ball hit the alligator? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 
was funny. <laughs> what movie was it where Chevy Chase was driving down? He wanted to go on a fun va family vacation, but then all he found was nothing but trouble. <laughs> did you guys know that big crazy vacation time? Oh, I like that. Did one. you Did you guys know that Carl Weathers uh, looks who, like Kevin who hit the the <laughs> I don't even ball? think that's true. <laughs> He, he was a point at Marcus. Is a, Marcus pointed at Kevin. <laughs> he said, him. Carl Weathers. Because he said the thing about the alligator and the and the ball. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking racist. Kevin only has one hand as well. <laughs> Nobody he was, knows it. Carl Weathers was a professional football player oh, before becoming an. Yeah. 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 Keys down. So was Al Bundy. Beautiful life. Al Bundy was a professional? Yeah, he played for the Browns for three years. Never really got in, but, you know, he was uh, on the squad. Interesting. I, I love how know. similar that is to the show. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, right? no. <laughs> that's, no, but, uh, that's the fifth row so far. I love this. this is a roller coaster ride. <laughs> did, did you see? Like it was like uh, you know related to that story. There was a thing where uh, a woman, like there's a 3,500 year old tree. To oh, that tree was up next. And, oh, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The woman. Uh, there was a, a 3,500 year old tree. They called it the senator. It was a gigantic cypress. They didn't think that arson uh, was the cause of the fire at first, but once they looked into it more, they found that Sarah Barnes, 26, was charged with setting the fire that burned the 3,500 year old tree because uh, she told police she did so in order to better see the drugs she was about to take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she I like her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she couldn't see how she was doing her meth, so she lit the tree on fire and then just took a video of it. This is in Orlando? Uh, this is, yeah, in Orlando. It was like the oldest tree in Florida or something, too, right? <coughs> mm -hmm. Wow. God damn it, is that Sarah what meth, Barnes. Meth, meth looks like a tree on fire? Is that what it's supposed <clears throat> to look like? When you're on acid, fire is awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so what about meth, though? A tree like that is not allowed to exist in Florida because everyone knows the people in Florida. This yeah. is what happens to things like that. Mm -hmm. and Florida can't have good things. I can't believe it lasted this long. I know. Yeah. I think the next oldest Make tree was like a thousand years younger two, than it. Two, yeah, 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 a thousand years younger, yes. That's 1,500 insane. years younger. Mm. It's called oh. Lady Liberty. Very nice. Oh. The other tree? Uh huh. Put and a fence around it. Put a fence around it. Good idea. Lady. Good idea. <laughs> they are planning on putting a thirty thousand dollar fence around Lady Liberty. Wow. <laughs> they they that's the guy run Florida. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. That wasn't actually in the article before you said it. <laughs> Very creepy stuff. I also am not certain that you're not going to call that Sarah lady and ask her out on a date, though, Eddie. Oh, man. Well, she's got more drugs. I think she's a thing. Oh, oh, is she doing meth? Yeah, she was, it was doing meth. meth. Oh, acid. I don't do that, meth. Right. No, no one does meth. No. Lucas Brothers, what was the drugs you liked uh, to do uh, back in the day or currently? Uh, currently, uh... Definitely acid, we do that, but weed, weed is the number one. Yeah, weed is the number one drug. Does yeah. weed count yeah. as a drug yeah. anymore? Yeah. 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 Technically, it does. Kinda. You can still get arrested for it. That's true. Yeah. I can't believe salvia is re uh, legal. Not anymore. Not in New York. Oh, really? It was until like last hey, what's like up seven, with that? eight months ago. What's up with that fake weed in all the bodegas now? What's going on with that shit? I don't know. Apparently, it. it gets you a little loopy. Hey, you guys yes. ever see Super High Me? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good move. <laughs> Good one. Doug Benson was just driving down the road. He was just going to have a good time on a vacation. But then all he found was nothing but trouble. I mean, one of the, my favorite films. Uh, do you guys know that 70% of all conjoined twins are girls? Uh, oh, well, you guys proved that point. Am I right? You know? Mm -hmm. That's kind of funny. Wait, no, not conjoined. You guys aren't conjoined. I guess if you hold hands. Well, They're not conjoined, nor are they girls. No. Well, no, I was calling no, them girls. Calling us a girl. That no. was the fucking joke. <laughs> Oh, it fell flat though, man. It did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you know, you. both of my Sorry. parents are twins. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, with the opposite sex, both of them. Really? Does that mean I'm going to have twins? Do you guys know? Do you have any information? I, I on heard that? it skips a whatever. I don't know if that's no, true. It would be your kids, right? My kids going to have twins? You're going to have two of them? Well, I'm you? not going to have kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. Thing. That is uh, so infertile. I don't, I don't Yeah, I don't think. I think use, yeah. Yeah, you it comes green. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, he worked in a lab for like a few years. So you're going to have like Ninja Turtles, man. <laughs> if you guys could be conjoined by any body part, what would it be? Dick to ass. <laughs> <laughs> ass to mouth. Not if you could, but if you had to be. If you had to be conjoined. That, that was the first choice. Uh, yeah. I'll go, I mean, I'll, go with the, I'll go with the pinky. 
We can get pinky. Yeah, something that's not too crazy that can be separated easily. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be separated. That's part of the deal. Oh, oh um, pinky. Probably. Well, I feel like this the is the premise thing. of that, that terrible cool. film. Uh, <laughs> what was it stuck on you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie, that was a movie. <laughs> it was a great <laughs> movie. Uh, it, was about, it was about twins. They were connected to each other enjoyable. by the hip. Who's they in were, that movie, Ben? <laughs> they were just what they have it. They were just trying to go on a family vacation. They were just okay. driving down the road, and they were trying to go on a family Cut vacation. Them off. And Edit this all out. They, all they ran into was nothing Edit. but trouble. Edit it, it out. Was, it was wild. It was a good movie, though. I love it. You guys want to know a bunch of movies with twins in them? Oh. There's uh, the uh, Prince uh, and the Pauper. Uh, all right, no, the Dark the Mirror. Let's try to name the them. The Parent oh, Trap. Oh, okay, we'll try okay, to name okay, them. yeah, yeah. Just trying to name them. I got Parent Trap. Yeah, and the remake. The remake. Double okay. Impact. Double yep. Impact Twins, yeah. Like seven Mary Kate and Ashley movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, me, me, more than that. Yeah, yeah. more than that. Uh, yeah. They uh, don't count those. What was that movie uh, with Christian Bell when he was Oh, uh, 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 The Prestige? The Illusionist. Illu no, was uh, Illusionist uh, the Illusionist the Prestige? Prestige? They came oh, yeah. out at the same time. This, uh, this doesn't have, this uh, website hasn't been updated this since 2000. Yeah, uh, it doesn't look like a very popular website. There's no movies on it. It's like the GeoCities website that Marcus has. This is twinsworld.com. You guys ever been there? Man, we ain't gonna name it. You uh, forgot twins. Oh, yeah, well, twins. twins. Yeah, of course. And yeah. I thought it was identical twins, not fraternal. No, yeah. just just twins. All right, let me ask They're you this: twins. Do you identify yourself more as twins or black? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> So if, says, if someone that's says something anti-twin, are you more great, offended than if somebody says something anti-black? <laughs> it's definitely more twins. Like oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's twin like shit, man. Because, I mean, racism hasn't been around for like 30 years. Really? Yeah. What is niggas? Niggas yeah, ain't niggas. niggas man. Just <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Yeah. 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 Oh, I love it. I mean, yeah. those guys. <laughs> I usually just enjoy sucking on ice cream cones. Apples and oranges for me there. Anyway, I'm going to go play a game of lacrosse. <laughs> All right. You guys want to go camping? Good. I love camping. I, uh, my head's about to explode. Oh, so. I know. <laughs> uh, let it drop. All right. All right. All right. And uh, this is a story that was brought to my attention by Eddie, actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, someone uh, yeah, someone uh, posted it on my Facebook wall. All right. They're a big fan of the show, and they wanted us to uh, read about this. I do want to know. Do you guys, you guys live together for 10 years in the same room? Longer than that. Yeah, so man. do you ever like? Did you guys like? Uh, how close are you? There <laughs> with the as with the ja with the jacket off. Get. This is the closest that yeah any man could get. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I okay. always imagine and not being gay. Like this is the closest. Yeah. Well, no, you can't be gay. It's illegal. I, I feel mean, like you, you guys are closer than most gay couples I've known. Of course they are. They love each other. I mean, you have one Facebook <laughs> just says Lucas brother. Oh, that's yeah. for that's for uh, for business purposes. Oh, this right. is right. something that Ben in particular and lots of other comedians are obsessed with. Many yeah. comedians have siblings. They always want to know if they've had sex. This is no, I don't. Just I just no. It's because first of all, I don't want to think of them having sex. I want to think of Eddie him weird. on the bottom bunk jacking off and him on the top bunk jacking off. But I want to think of you and John having sex because you're a woman. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just saying you just want to think of me having sex with a man. Or John. <laughs> Whichever one. I just don't understand why anytime two people are in the same room and they're related and they're in a room with comedians, immediately, or not immediately, after, you know, 20 minutes, somebody's going to ask a question about how many genitals have been out in the room at the same time. Mm -hmm. I mean, but you got to be strategic about it. Cause, like, you do. Yeah, when we were younger, like, you couldn't, like, you didn't, we didn't have, like, internet porn or nothing like that. Right. Yeah. We had to, like... We you were just in had the same room, so we had to like you know. Did you guys we share magazines and stuff? You sh share the same porno mags? Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, we I mean, I share magazines with my friends. Though. Yeah. 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 No, that's yeah. fine. It's just like two best friends who look alike almost and hang out all the time. It's a little weird. But. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Sounds like a great premise for a film where you guys are just trying to go on vacation. <laughs> But then all you find is nothing but trouble. God, you can't go. I'm gonna fucking throw you down. The right. What am I doing? And then there's the Bass Bass movies. Case and The Shining. Yeah. Oh yeah, The Shining. Yeah, 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 Shining. Yeah, Best big wins. business. Uh, so a 33-year-old San Diego area woman died early this morning when a cannonball fired by a man who was either her husband or her boyfriend slammed or into Captain her mobile Hook. home. Captain, he had to be Captain. So sh her husband or boyfriend killed her with a cannonball. With a how, cannonball. Did he, how did he get the fucking wooden ship 
on land. <laughs> he he made the whole thing himself. It was makeshift artillery. He should have put himself into the cannon and shot himself at her. Ooh, oh, that's romantic. Yeah, Very yeah. romantic. I just have to creative. say, if you find your husband building a cannon, <laughs> right. pointed, like towards your ears, pointed straight right. at the chair you always sit in, <laughs> right. I would essentially just kind of call it a no-go and uh, get the old divorce He's there. just sitting in a chair like, this is just another one of those stupid projects he's not going to finish. Right. <laughs> You're never going to finish it. You're never going to finish it. Oh, You're never going to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds amazing. <laughs> Every day is in it. This stupid bitch is gonna see. She's gonna see what I call her husband. <laughs> Working in the garage all day. Oh. So yeah. what's gonna happen to this dude? Uh, well, uh, it is said that alcohol may have played a role in the incident. All right. Uh huh. He liked experimenting with guns, and it looks like his experiment went bad. Uh, <laughs> oh, it went very well. He shot yeah. her with a cannon. Yeah. How could yeah. have gone any better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely succeeded. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure that, you know, the bomb squad was called out. Uh, I mean, he's definitely charged with murder. Yeah, no, naturally, murder, she died. Murder or manslaughter? I mean, what if it's an accident? What if oh, it's just it clean, He's just cleaning this cannon. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Happens all the time. <laughs> That's true. Uh, very, uh, this is one of the most unique ways I've heard of a uh, spouse killing another one. Though. I love it. Yeah. Wait, was she standing directly in front of the cannon? Like, what, oh, no, she was inside their trailer. The target. Yeah, I don't even know what happened. Like, so, yeah, yeah. But, like, so it went off by accident? Like, what was the deal with it? Uh, well, they don't ac- actually know uh, exactly what happened as far as, you know, did he mean to kill? Her, did he not mean to kill her? Yeah, uh, but he, he was definitely arrested. So it doesn't like probably means he meant to kill her. Yeah, she was inside of the trailer. It was like twelve oh, fifteen at night, oh, or wow. it was about midnight. She was inside the trailer, which is a very nice Dutchman trailer. It is oh, very okay. nice. Well, extra- yeah, 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 it's got solar yeah, panels yeah, and everything. Mm-hmm. These people knew what they were doing. Uh, but he, uh, three adults were in the trailer and the four-year-old daughter. Uh, oh man, so, that's reckless as hell. Yeah. Wow. So the guy now it's reckless, Eddie. There's a kid in there. Oh my god, your moral code is fucking so bizarre. I agree with Eddie completely. (laughs) All right. Killing women is just thrilling for you guys. Oh, why does it have to be a woman? Yeah, Yeah, we were talking about a woman, Molly. Yeah. It's about a woman who killed Go fire Eddie Brill again. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. I'm not going to sit here and be accused of sexism from some bitch on my show. No, I'm just joking. That's all right. We love women. We love women. Now I've got to go build a cannon. Whoa, no, no. I was just joking. You know where she lives, right? I do. I'm going to look out my fucking window. I live on the first floor now. I'm gonna, I just moved. I'm going to really? look out and j- I'm going to open my window and just see Ben Kissel in a fucking homemade cannon hanging yeah. in my window. It's going to be really, really good cover of yeah. that park across the street. Do they have okay. a picture of the cannon? Like, do they have a picture? No, they just have uh, a picture of the trailer. I mean, he had to wheel this thing from God knows how far away. I mean, away. a dude put in a lot of work, though. He, yeah, he, yeah, made, the powder, he made the powder from fireworks. From fireworks. Nice. I respect that shit. gangster, man. That's mad gangster, man. Actual cannon. I like it. This dude did it, man. And so, yeah. what, and so we, what is a cannon? You just have the... Uh, you just have, mean, you see a fucking cartoon? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, thanks, Eddie. <laughs> that explains it all. You put the fucking big Every circle car- into the <laughs> hole. <laughs> and you light the match fuse, and it blows out into the person. You Thank know. you, Holden. You're yeah. welcome. I Science just, Corner with Holden McNeely. <laughs> <laughs> They cut it. They go learn how to roll a joint. <laughs> um. <laughs> it seems like this was uh, an accident. Yeah, he was uh, treated and released from a hospital because he also injured his leg and he was full of shrapnel. No. Uh, he uh, was booked on charges of willfully and maliciously exploding or igniting a destructive device or explosive causing death. See, man, I hope that his original goal was to outfit his trailer with the cannon so he could drive around and be in a gang and call his trailer boss level. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone's trying to jump on top of it. (laughs) That would be great. (laughs) All right, there it was. Uh, What's up, Eddie? I got a story I want to tell everyone. It's one of the funniest stories I heard in a long time at the (laughs) poorhouse. All right, so I just came back in from town, and some guy, as soon as I go back into work, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. my eyes are hurting me. There's two detectives at the door. (laughs) Your eyes are hurting you. Your eyes are hurting you. You guys, eyes don't hurt when you wake up? 
No. No. no, no we get no, plenty no. of sleep. It's not. God damn it. Not, Eddie I'm slept, fucking you dying. You slept on my couch man. last night, by the way. Your snoring was really, it was nice. Thank you. Yeah, it was good last night. Thank you. I appreciate Congrats. it. Hey, man, my eyes hurt too, man. All the time. Thank you, Kevin. I don't got no neck. My knees are fucked up. My stomach hurts. It's bad. Oh, I'm man, with you. I thought you were great. Nah, we're dying together, man. Oh. <laughs> So anyway, there's two de detectives uh, walk in, and I'm just like, hey, what, what can I do you guys for? And he's uh, so like, guys, someone was stabbed on the corner last night. Do you think we can go look at the footage? I was like, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, I go, we go upstairs. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm in an episode of CSI. We go in there. We find, we, I'm looking, we don't have a good view of it. And so I'm like, ah, fuck. And we don't know what's going on. I forgot to ask if he died, because I'm an idiot. Yeah. And so I go over to Webster Hall, because it, um, it was overflow from Webster Hall Hip Hop Night, which is always extremely dangerous. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they over. <laughs> Flow was very dangerous. <laughs> People who weren't allowed into the concert. That's bad. And, and so, um, so basically, I asked the guy from Webster Hall, I'm like, yeah, someone, one of your people got fucking stabbed on my corner last last uh, last night. What happened? He's like, oh man, he totally deserved it. <laughs> this is great. I was like, what? What do you mean he deserved it? He's like, well, he picked a fight with seven people. Lord knows what he was on. They all beat the shit out of him and threw him in the street. And then he got hit by a car. <laughs> And then after he got hit by the car, he got up and tried to fight him again, so they just stabbed him. <laughs> it's like a fucking, uh, is this like what happens in Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> Dude, this is what happened to fucking Rasputin. <laughs> That's the thing. And it was just so weird, because that guy was just trying to go on a pleasant vacation. Uh, you know, why did he go see a hip-hop show, and then all he found was and nothing but trouble. And now segment from Holden McNeil. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Dirty trivia. Oh, wow. oh, oh, dirty squirt, trivia. squirt, squirt. Don't touch me. All right, so it's going to be an elimination well. situation, probably, unless everybody gets everything right, which would be sad. And then I just uh, decide who goes away. There you okay. go. So we'll start with Kevin. We'll just go round robin around the room. Nope. All right, Kevin. It's it's all it's multiple choice, by the way, people. Right. <laughs> right. 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 You relax a little bit there. 25%. All right. In ancient Greece, women showed their pussies off. <laughs> <laughs> to ward off what? Oh, wow. A, evil spirits. <laughs> B, storms at sea. Ooh. C, syphilis. Or D, Ben Kissel. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's not storms at sea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um... Fuck, wait, wait, it was uh, it was Storms at Sea, what? And it's then, uh, Evil Spirits, Storms at Sea, Syphilis, or Ben Kissel. Uh, C and D are sort of a dance together, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, storms at Sea. Correct! Mm. Oh, oh yeah. wow! Very yeah. good. Yeah. That's impressive. Any rationale yeah. behind that? Or? Very good. No, I know nope. no background any of this. Okay. I, I had to get it all together at the end of work today. Okay. All right, Ben. <laughs> Masturbation is more common for... A, blue-collar workers, B, housewives, C, white-collar workers, or D, Ben Kissel? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I am the closest thing that I can think to, uh, think of. I mean, the issue with this is that it's a I joke a answer, but it's probably the right answer because of the... Exactly. Well, it's either housewives this or me, two because answers. I pretty much live the life of a housewife. I take care of three dogs uh -huh. all day. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to say housewives who masturbate the most. Wrong. Can I guess? Yes. White collar workers. Correct. Yeah. yeah. That's what I would have guessed too. Correct. Right. Those guys know, sitting in there. Yeah, yeah, they sit at home. Yeah, they're exactly. furious. They're very angry. They think they have a lot of power. Check off at work. I just feel like their dicks are hard they're all so the time. Free. Blue they're collar so workers free. can't beat off at work as easily. I feel. No, like. the more no, power no, no, no. a guy has, the harder his dick is all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's true. That's true. All right. The next one for the Lucas brother named Keith. Keith. Good, good job, man. You're figuring this out. All right. Disha biliophobia. Ah, oh, come oh, on. Fuck, dude. Is a fear <laughs> of what? I can see it. Disha. Disha is a fear of what? Turning into a human penis. Ooh. A. Mm -hmm. B. Breaking your dick. Which happens, by the way. <laughs> it does. C. Undressing in front of someone. Or D. Having sex with Ben Kissel. This <laughs> <laughs> seems ridiculous. <laughs> oh man, uh, I, I'm gonna go with B. What was B again? Breaking Bre break break your dick. Oh no, 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 not that one. Uh, shit. T uh, turning into a human penis, breaking your dick, undressing in front of someone, or having sex with Ben Kissel. Right, I'm gonna go with C. 
Undressing with someone? Yeah. Correct. Wow. Oh, man. I read a study recently that uh, men who uh, break their dick the most are people who are cheating on their spouses. Oh. Why? Because they're having a different kind of sex than they've been used Crazy to having. Crazy-ass sex. Whoa. slamming too hard. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, no. It, I think it happens more often on with the chick on top. Hmm. The chick on top jumping up and down on the guy, and yeah, 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 yeah. no, that's a thing that men muscle. say when they don't like women on top. That's just <laughs> men don't like <laughs> women on top as much. And no, that's men love it. I love it. Yeah. You're yeah. talking about it. That's my favorite way. Yeah, yeah. No, you're dating the wrong yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make some changes in my life. I take it back. <laughs> Whatever that happens, like you do you. I'm gonna sit back and chill. <laughs> I love it. That's All awesome. right, that's Lucas, brother TV. number two, Kenny. Right, Kenny. Right, man. Ah, fantastic. Temporary impotence is caused more by what two things? Mountain Dew and crack. <laughs> cigarette smoking and tight pants. Hot tubs and tequila. Or old age and Ben kissing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> impotence, tempor- temporary impotence, temporary is caused more by what two things? You know what? Since I don't know, I'm gonna go with uh, D, old age and uh, Ben Kissel. Let's, let's go with Incorrect. Uh, <laughs> no, you're just is it C? It's a joke answer. It's actually cigarette smoking and tight pants. Yeah, I was gonna oh, guess that. Yeah. One. Yeah, you picked so the joke answer. Hipsters are limp. Yeah, hipsters are super are. fucking them? limp. That's probably why they want, don't want you on top, fucking and Molly. And I'm probably kind of limp there situation. Because I smoke and I have <laughs> tight pants. Is it easier oh, to go limp if the girl's on top? No, but hipsters, <laughs> if you don't have a boner, they, don't have, they, they can't maintain. Well, yeah, but I'm not stupid enough to get on top of a guy who doesn't have a boner. Are you sure? Have you seen the boys? <laughs> Is that you like to date? Those hipsters. Wait, I'm looking at your microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How, uh, uh, oh, this is actually for Molly, yeah. yeah. How long after penetration do 75% of men ejaculate? Oh. Wow. Three minutes. Is in my experience or in general? Uh, probably you know, both. A lot of experience. <laughs> yeah. You just call me a slut? Just average it out. <laughs> Three minutes, 30 minutes, and we know that's not true. <laughs> yeah, five not. minutes, like five or hours. one hour. Oh, yes. No. Uh, five. Incorrect. Three minutes. Three? Yeah, that was, that was my second guess. Three minutes. Really? Has a man ever came in three minutes? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Less, in fact. Well, yeah, whenever you don't think yeah, you're beautiful, just remember <laughs> that. You are. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. <laughs> Ugly gals, they have sex for hours. <laughs> Ed Larson. What's up, The Ed? nicest thing you've ever said to me. I love you, Molly. I want to marry you. <laughs> Ed Larson, who invented the French tickler? Is it A, Pierre Shithead? <laughs> B, Francois Lalone? C, a Tibetan monk? <laughs> or D, all of Ben Kissel's ex-girlfriends? What the fuck? Well, it's gotta be uh, Francois Tocolo. Francois Lalone? Lalone, yeah. Is that your final answer? Uh, guessing by you asking, I'm gonna go <laughs> Tibetan monk. Yes, correct. <laughs> wow. All that right. is a tell. Correct. Is that the last round? A Tibetan it's, monk. It's What's between... the French tickler? A French tick... Oh, Lord. <laughs> Jesus. You never got one? <laughs> I don't know. It's, a, it's a, it's something you put on your. It's like it's yeah. like a, a it's a plastic cock ring that's yeah, kind of spiked that you know. Dang, dang. It gives uh, extra goods. It's, yeah. just a, it's just a cock ring. It's a co- it's a cock it ring, like but it's things on it. Yeah, yeah it's got little uh, spines. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ugh, it sounds terrifying. Yeah. It plastic. doesn't have a battery in it. It's like got rubber. Some no. of them do. Yes. If a, oh. if a monk invented it, it couldn't have had a battery in it. Yeah, well, then. I mean, things have the monk evolved. Was the battery. Over, yeah, you know. Yeah. People oh, invented the wheel. Now we have cars. Same thing. All right. All right. Huh? I thought monks were uh, celibate. I mean, doesn't maybe, mean they can't be in yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right. Um, so who's it down between? It's, it's down between. It's between Kevin and Eddie. No, I, I got one, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah man. Come on, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For the possibly final rounds, Kevin. Hmm. Besides the genitals and the breasts. What other body part also swells during intercourse? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, snap. Is it the tongue, the nose, Ben's penis? <laughs> well, every penis. Or the belly button? 
Oh, uh, that's a tough one. Ooh. Well, I mean, it's a tough one. I it's, uh, is, is Ben's up. penis still a joke question? I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, that, 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 sort of a situation where I feel like he has a sensor. If any of us are having intercourse, his penis becomes erect. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a joke question. The tongue, or answer, the tongue, the nose, Ben's penis, or the belly button? Oh, shit, man. Uh, the tongue. Fucking A, it's the nose. Oh, yeah. That is so weird. It's because yeah. you're breathing all hard. Yeah. What? Yeah. The tongue makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That is yeah. weird. Interesting. Man. That's crazy. Gross. I didn't know that. All right. All right. My nose when I yeah, man. I'm going right, to fucking go. nose some girls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, well, you can have more. You can do a thing with the nose. You can. Mm-hmm. Usually in keep, keep talking, I mean, Mark. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> you put your nose in a girl and you blow. Well, there's yeah, yeah, there's, there's things. I don't, yeah, it's called a jacuzzi. All right, the next question. Mm-hmm. All right, are you ready? I'm ready, man. <laughs> they actually make special underwear for people who pass gas a lot. Oh, oh really? Okay. They are called <laughs> A. Ed's pants. <laughs> B. Insular innerwear. Right. C. Farty pants. Or D, arid underwear. Mm. I said B or D. Uh, Ed's pants, <laughs> insular underwear, inner, innerwear, a, but farty pants, or arid underwear. I'm going to go with go D. I got one wrong. So. Yeah, I'm going to go with B. Which was insular innerwear. Yeah. It is farty pants. Oh. Where? These people have to have a sense of humor. No fucking way. That's true. Farty pants. Farty pants? Isn't that crazy? Farty pants. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Man. oh man, I can take this home. You can. Yeah. Well, no, you got it right. right. Yes. No, no, you got it wrong. Oh, man. Damn. Well, if he misses, right. we, we White do power! It. This is a okay, tough one. Right. <laughs> All right, why don't you need to go that far? <laughs> what? What'd I say? Right. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Good Christ. <laughs> Can't we just play one game that's not racially motivated for you mentally? <laughs> All right. Are you ready, Ed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blanks have the smelliest farts. <laughs> Their farts are believed to be a major contributor towards global warming. Oh, you're going to know this. It's a tough yeah, question, man. Ed. I've heard this before. Actually. It's A, bears. <clears throat> B, Ed at the end of a Kissel Barnett human centipede. <laughs> That's nice, you got everybody in there. C termites or D gorillas. Ooh. And uh, may I pound out or point out Holden pound. spelled pound. <laughs> Holden spelled gorillas wrong. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Oh man. Well, one R. I don't know why I thought it was penguins. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know. Either. I don't know either. Yeah, there's a lot of them together. So it's so bears and gorillas, and the other two are jokes. Is that what it was? No, termites. Ter- ter- termites. Was it? No, no, no. Was bears, termites. gorillas, termites, termites, or Ed at the end of a Kissel Barnett human centipede. Termites. I'm gonna go termites. Yeah. Correct. Oh, oh, Eddie Larson, oh, round oh, rival oh. trivia champion. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All of us just came here on a vacation. (laughs) 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 Nothing but trouble. Hello. Okay. Let's go home. This has been the greatest roundtable of gentlemen of all time. Thank you so much, Molly Neffel, for being here. Thank you for having me. Congratulations, Edward. How do you feel after your big win? Uh, used to winning. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you can oh, It's not the kind of answer we want. We like to sort, of sort of like, yeah. you know, happy, it's good, tells mom and all that. <laughs> yeah, you, Fuck that nigga, man. Task. <laughs> yeah. Holy Manili, Kevin yeah. Barnett. You were great, Kevin, too, in that trivia contest. Hey, man, I was killing it for a minute, man. Representing. Anything you want to say to Edward? Uh, no other than fuck that nigga and his stupid face <laughs> and all of the white people he associates with. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. All right, hey, well, hey, okay. Well, no, no, I think, well, I think this, we learned that all the white dudes in this room today are really, they really need to. Uh, no, he said account. people, he did not say dudes. We're all on yes, the I same list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kevin, I'm okay, right? Nah. <laughs> oh, I'm with you on that one, Kevin. And the liberal is smashed down. <laughs> All right, Molly, you're beautiful. You're a phoenix. You'll rise from these ashes. Uh, thank you so much, Lucas Brothers, for being here. You uh, guys were thank, wonderful. Thanks for having us. This has been great. Nice. Hell dope. yeah. Oh, Free absolutely. beer, baby. Appreciate it, guys. All right, well, we'll talk to you soon. Everybody suck a dick except for Lucas Brothers. That's very weird. All right. Sucking dicks.